Here's the Canis Latrans uh, PVS-14 clone, if you want to call it that, or model of a PVS-14 on the camera adapter. It does fit, and uh, on an iPhone adapter, it does fit. Uh, it fits, you know, the older style iPhones. And they're not very expensive, about 50 bucks on eBay. But, uh, you know, so... We're going to show you how the functionality works and why I'm going to stop the side-by-side -side testing with a real PVS-14 right now. It's it's not worth uh, even talking about side-by-side -side testing. Uh, everything does fit together and plug in together, and you could use this maybe for movie prop type stuff, but you can't you can't film with this. It, it's not going to work. Okay, so kind of hard to get the image of the image to focus because all this Apple stuff is self-focusing. And you can kind of see what's happening here. Now we've got a square image. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to show you what's going on when we try to run this over to video. But basically, the way that Apple software goes, as soon as I transfer over to video, um, let's see, we just transfer over to video. That shrinks. It automatically focuses, and then I can't, I can't do the two finger zoom. But what it will do is it overexposes, so we'll show that in the next segment. So, here is our results of our test of night photography with the Canis Latrans, the Chinese digital night vision on the PVS-14 adapter for the iPhone. Um, as you can see, our results are less than stellar, okay? Uh, we're going to have to consider this to be not usable for any purpose. And it probably has a lot to do with the way our focus see if I cover this with my hand yeah this this just isn't gonna it, it's not gonna get us any results and I believe I know why I'm gonna play a little around a little bit with the uh, the still picture thing but basically the way the iPhone camera software works is it works on what the light gain is from the majority of the image and because this device has a relatively narrow field of view based on the way the little camera and screen arrangement works in this, the iPhone camera takes that area that's around the edges of the image, adjusts its light based on that, and then it overexposes the center of the image. Now this device works perfectly fine, I've tested it, and it works perfectly fine for what it's supposed to do, but if you're going to be using a night vision adapter with an iPhone and a night vision device, it it needs to say PVS in the front. It, it's going to have to be a PVS-7, a PVS-14, or if you can get a hold of one, one of the ITT-6015s. Now, right now, um, October 2014, th there are some more surplus PVS-14s on the market. Uh, from the contractor companies. Uh, I forget the name of, uh, uh, there's a couple of companies that, that are selling them in the $1,200 range for just the bare bones device, no accessory kit, no nothing. Um, I, I believe they were previously owned by uh, Sake or, or, yeah, Sike or Sake. Yeah, or Triple Canopy or somebody like that. I, but they, they've been online, they've been for sale. Uh, this is one of the ways you can put something like that to use because it's not going to work with the Chinese stuff, okay? Uh, so there you can see what's going to happen with this. Now, with still pictures, we'll play around with that, and for brevity in the video, if I can get it, I'll get it up on the beginning.